Hey there, treasure hunter. This might sound like one of those clickbait titles, but what if I told you it's completely real? There's actually a specific tree that only thrives in soil where diamonds are buried. And no, this isn't a metaphor. It's not an exaggeration. It's science, the kind almost no one talks about. Now just imagine, while geologists spend years and millions on drilling and exploration, this tree grows quietly, right on top of the Earth's rarest sparkle, silent, hidden, ordinary to the untrained eye. But if you learn how to recognize it, you could change your life forever. The truth is, it's already out there, growing by dusty backroads across forgotten fields in places people don't even value, like it's shouting for attention, but no one's listening. Today, you'll learn this tree's name, the secret it holds, and how to spot this living map that nature herself designed. After that, you'll never look at a landscape the same way again, because where others just see weeds, you'll start seeing diamonds. So go ahead, smash that like button and hit subscribe because you're about to see the invisible. While you're going through your day on autopilot, racing from one task to the next, something is happening right beneath your feet and you might have never even noticed. Because while mining companies pour millions into noisy machines and crews drill into the ground like wealth is all about brute force, nature keeps working silently with a precision that feels almost supernatural. It doesn't need spotlights. All it does is raise a tree, an ordinary tree, to the eyes of someone who's never been taught how to see. But to the ancients, to the wise, to the quiet observers, it was a sign, an answer. Tribal peoples knew certain plants only grow where something hidden is alive, and sometimes that something is crystal clear and priceless. In the Congo, for instance, modern researchers found a tree that grows only on top of kimberlite, the volcanic rock that gives birth to diamonds and in the icy lands of Siberia, a similar mystery emerged. This isn't mysticism. It's a pattern. And when a pattern repeats, it becomes a language. The earth speaks, and it speaks through trees. The real question is, are you listening? Its scientific name is almost impossible to pronounce. Pandanus candelabrum. But its power is so astonishing, it should be taught in schools. This tree isn't flashy, it doesn't attract colorful butterflies, and it's definitely not a tourist, magnet. But wherever it grows, the underground glows, literally. Science has already confirmed it. This plant only blooms on top of kimberlite, volcanic rock formed from ancient eruptions that carry diamonds from deep within the earth. This has been proven in parts of West Africa, and more recently scientists have started studying it here in the United States. Researchers have been tracking areas in Virginia, California, even Montana, where the soil contains similar minerals, and trees like this are beginning to appear in just the right spots. Have you ever stopped to think that a simple walk on American soil might be hiding this kind of secret? Drop a comment below saying, if I see that tree, I'm stopping. Just so we know who's really paying attention to this quiet signal from nature. Now picture yourself in an open field, breathing in that thick countryside air. And suddenly, you notice a tree that looks like anything but special. Its leaves look like green swords. Its trunk is half hidden among the brush, and nothing about it seems out of the ordinary. But that's exactly the trick. Because this tree doesn't shout, it whispers. And only those who've learned to listen can understand what it's saying. If you point your phone camera at it using an app like Seek or iNaturalist, you might discover its pandanus candelabrum, 
or a close relative that also loves mineral-rich soil. Geologists do this. So do university research teams. This is the new frontier of prospecting, letting nature's own intelligence lead the way. And the best part? You can start doing it from wherever you are. It's like the Earth has always been trying to tell you a secret. And now, for the first time, you're finally beginning to understand her language. But heads up, this tree doesn't work alone. It depends on the ecosystem, on chemical reactions, in the soil, and the presence of certain elements that hint at hidden treasure, calcium, magnesium, iron, and of course, diamonds. If it's there, the land is talking. And American researchers have already identified other plants that follow the same pattern, acting as natural indicators for copper, gold, even emeralds. In other words, this discovery doesn't end with the pandanus. It opens a door, and on the other side of that door are free tools, public maps, soil sensors, and real trails you can start exploring. The knowledge is out there, waiting for those who want to learn. And in the next segment, I'll show you how to get started, what to look for, what to bring, and where to go if you want to identify with your own eyes the signals the Earth is offering to those who know how to listen. Let's get straight to it. If you want to spot this tree with your own eyes, you need to know what to look for, where to look, and how to act. The Pandanus candelabrum has stiff, long, pointed leaves that fan out like spears in a circular pattern. Its trunk is simple but sturdy, often standing alone. It only grows on kimberlite rich soil, a dark, rare rock loaded with minerals like iron, magnesium, and yes, diamonds. In countries like Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Guinea, researchers found such clear patterns between this tree and what lies underground that it's already being used as a legit prospecting tool. Here in the United States, states like Virginia, Arkansas, Colorado and parts of California have similar geological conditions, with known kimberlite deposits and related plant species growing in sync. That means you might be way closer to this than you think. And the best part? Most people don't even know this exists. So if this already surprised you, hit that like button now because what comes next might blow your mind even more. Now, let's get into what could really change how you see the world. If you're ready to start your own search, you don't need expensive gear or fancy courses. Just grab a free geological map, like those from USGS or Sigmine, an app like Seek, or iNaturalist to help identify plants, and a strong sense of observation. That's more than enough. Use the map to locate potential kimberlite zones, then head to the field, or even start with Google Earth and study the vegetation. Pandanus trees often stand out due to their shape and their ability to grow in soils where other plants can't. A small pocket magnifier or a simple hand shovel can help you check for mineral fragments on the ground, like garnets or pyroxenes. They don't sparkle like diamonds, but they're one of the best signs that diamonds are close. And here's the magic. All of this can be done with simple tools. You can start right where you are. Just this knowledge already puts you years ahead of most people who haven't even begun to pay attention to these clues. But there's more, because it doesn't stop with just one tree. Nature, like any wise teacher, doesn't reveal all its secrets at once. If you thought one plant pointing to diamonds was amazing, just wait until you learn that other plants reveal copper gold, emeralds, even underground caves with crystal clear water. The earth speaks to those who pay attention, and it speaks through leaves, roots, colors, textures, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in the next segment. Because while many believe that the secret lies in high-tech gear, true masters know 
the real treasure map is drawn into the land itself. And if you're still here with me right now, you're already part of a rare group. The ones who see beyond the obvious. So stay close, because the next step might be exactly what you need to finally unlock your own path to discovery. Pandanus candelabrum is just the beginning. There are other plants, just like it, that act as natural arrows pointing straight toward hidden treasure, and almost no one knows about them. In remote regions of Canada, for instance, specific types of moss only grow above underground caves that house pure crystal formations. In Colorado, some plants only sprout in areas rich in copper and silver. And in parts of Australia and South Africa, heat-resistant flowers bloom directly over geological cracks filled with quartz, gold, and rare minerals. But the real magic isn't just in the plants themselves. It's in the eyes of those who know how to see. Most people walk right past. They see a flower, a patch of moss, a bush, and keep going. But those who stop, observe, and connect the dots, those people unlock a kind of ancestral knowledge that changes everything. Every leaf carries a code, every root, a hidden signal. And once you begin to decode them, nature turns into an open book. Feeling curious? Good. Because in the next segment, you'll see that this kind of wisdom doesn't just change what you look at, it changes who you are. So if your mind is open and your heart is ready, drop this in the comments right now. I'm ready to receive. Let's see who's truly tuned in to the voice of the earth. How many times have you walked past a tree without giving it a second thought? How many times has something extraordinary been right next to you and you simply didn't see it? The truth is life just like nature, is speaking to us all, the time. But almost no one is listening. This tree that grows over diamonds is a living metaphor for everything in life that seems ordinary, but holds incredible potential inside. And the real question is, how many diamond trees have you already ignored in your own life? How many people, how many places, how many ideas have you passed by just because they didn't look special at first glance? Sometimes you have to train your eyes. Learn to look beyond the bark, beyond the surface, because what seems plain may be hiding something extraordinary. And the same goes for you. Maybe you feel ordinary, invisible, repetitive. But what if, deep inside, there's something precious just waiting to be uncovered. What if I told you there's a complete guide from beginner to advanced that walks you step by step through how to identify trees, rocks, plants, and natural signs used in real life diamond hunting. If you want to be part of the rare few who can see the invisible and are ready to act, the link is right there in the video description. And this might just be the first step in your turning point. If you've made it this far, you're no longer an ordinary person because ordinary people don't hear the Earth's language. Ordinary people don't look at trees and see signs. Ordinary people don't search for invisible stones in forgotten places. But you're here, and that already says so much. Now I want to invite you to do something symbolic but powerful. Drop this in the comments below, in full. I see the signs. This isn't just a response to the video. It's a declaration. It's like telling yourself, I've awakened, I'm ready. And if you're serious about taking the next step, you already know where to go. The practical guide is right here in the description. Years of research broken down into one direct, accessible, and complete resource designed to turn you from curious explorer into a true seeker of hidden treasure. Like the video, share it with someone whose eyes are still closed, and subscribe. Because here, 
We don't just deliver information, we offer direction. And in the next segment, you'll discover why certain soils, ignored for decades, may contain the most promising signs of all. If you've made it this far, you're no longer an ordinary person because ordinary people don't hear the Earth's language. Ordinary people don't look at trees and see signs. Ordinary people don't search for invisible stones in forgotten places. But you're here, and that already says so much. Now I want to invite you to do something symbolic, but powerful. Drop this in the comments below, in full. I see the signs. This isn't just a response to the video. It's a declaration. It's like telling yourself, I've awakened, I'm ready. And if you're serious about taking the next step, you already know where to go. The practical guide is right here in the description. Years of research broken down into one direct, accessible and complete resource designed to turn you from curious explorer into a true seeker of hidden treasure. Like the video, Share it with someone whose eyes are still closed and subscribe. Because here, we don't just deliver information, we offer direction. And in the next segment, you'll discover why certain soils, ignored for decades, may contain the most promising signs of all.